Washington is currently in the process of returning 1,000 troops from the country, which has bases in Yami and Agadez. The ruling authority, like its neighbors Mali and Burkina Faso, had called for the United States troops to live in order to draw closer to Russia. A U.S. official told Reuters that Russian soldiers had moved into a base in Yami and also houses the United States Army. According to a Pentagon official who spoke on condition of anonymity, the Russian soldiers did not wait for the Americans to leave before moving into a hangar at Air Base 101 near Nyamis International Airport, also used by the United States Army. This also raises the question of what the fate of the United States facilities in the country will be after a withdrawal. Responding to questions about Reuters' story, Pentagon spokesman Leo Austin downplayed the risk to U.S. forces and the possibilities that Russian forces could get close to U.S. military equipment. Mr. Austin declared at the press conference in Honolulu, the Russians are in a separate compound and do not have access to American forces or equipment. There was no immediate response to requests for comments from Nigerians and Russian embassies in Washington.